tonight's episode is called How I Came to Understand Price Action and, brackets of course, Naked Trading. Not suggesting that you trade with no clothes on in front of your laptop or your tablet, but again, you know, what do I, what, you know, where, where, it's not my place to say what you do in your private life, of course. But anyway, no, naked trading it means actually something very different, which I will explain tonight. So tonight's agenda, first of all, we'll cover what is indeed price action. Then we'll talk about naked trading versus overly clothed trading. Then we talk a little bit about how to trade with price action, giving you some ideas, some areas of interest. And then we'll talk about future educational events coming up in the near future before the usual question and answer session at the end. So what is price action? Price action. I tell you what, let me put myself on camera so you can see me there as well. Hello. Hello, everybody. Right. Price action is a method of trading where you actually trade off the price of an asset. Well, shouldn't we be doing that all the time, James? Yes, but there's so many things stops us from looking at that and forget all about the price. Now, unlike using many indicators, which a lot of people fall down to and use, price action, okay, basically, tries to strip away all the noise, all the market noise, all the blinders, and actually you instead, you focus on what actual buyers and sellers are actually doing, where they're buying from and where they're sell and selling from, okay? Makes sense because at the end of the day, you know, that's what drives the market. The buyers and the sellers are really the engine behind the market. Now, price action, it's a little bit like this. Let's, like I said, let's give you an example. Obviously, when we're watching the markets, we see the markets do this, we see it might go down, then rebound a little bit, then go back down again, then rebound a little bit, go down a little bit, up again, and then there we go. We we'll start seeing our levels with our eyes of where the market has been selling from. And at the same time, where the market then sells from and what then happens is the market then breaks up further or like on a trend sells off on a rebound before breaking forward and falling back again now straight away by looking at these areas we can see areas of interest i.e areas where the market is selling from and at the same time where the market is potentially buying from and we can do all this using our naked I. Now, one of the biggest mistakes, certainly people, those who are involved in technical analysis, they tend to make is they tend to over flood their chart with so many different things. OK, which I call a fully clothed chart. So, for example, you add your Bollinger Bands. Oh, very pretty. But there's a straight away. There's a lot of patterns, a lot of noise there. Then you chuck in your moving averages, exponential, maybe your moving average crossovers. Again, giving you more volume, more noise on your chart, more pretty, pretty pictures, so to speak. Then you add in maybe your Pambaric SAR indicator as well. Nice, pretty lines straight away. So your charts then get flooded. Chuck in your RSI, your MACD. And before you know it, it's a very pretty Jason Pollock picture. Now, I will say I do not, you know, believe, for example, indicators don't have their place. Certain indicators very much do have their place. But my point of this is saying is when we use a fully clothed chart, we maybe are missing realistically what is happening in the market and why or where, sorry, the buyers and sellers actually are. And here's a naked chart. Nothing. Nothing on it. We have our candlestick charts, so we can see the open, close, open, close. We can see our wicks. But surprisingly, this naked chart is actually showing us a lot more than we actually think. If we look closely at it, we can see where the highs have been, where the sellers have been selling from. This is a 30-minute chart. 
So each candle, don't forget, represents 30 minutes. So straight away, we can see we're at our, top, our, we're our blind eye.